My foot was firm on the carpet. I halted, thinking, do I raise my next foot to take the next step into this abyss? The air felt musty and old, as though it had been there for many years. It was undisturbed, setting still, floating in the hands of time. After I stepped off the precipice in my mind, I left the hallway. I stepped into a space between the atoms in the hallway. I entered another dimension of space and thought. It was a dimension that, in my mind, but not of my making. It came from someplace in this hallway. The passage was taking me to a place I did not recognize. As I drifted into this topological space, I became an astronaut. I am a spaceman of the inner space of my mind. Or was it the space of this hallway? I could not determine if the hallway was playing tricks with me or my mind was wandering inside itself. How can one separate reality from mind tricks? I am not sure. I returned from the neurons in another dimension. I drifted into the space of the bugs beneath my feet, and I kept going, smaller and smaller and smaller, I drifted. I became an insect in the hallway, watching my shoe come down upon me. But unlike the other pests, I had wings. I spread them to fly. As my wings spread, I could feel the air floating against them. I escaped that nasty shoe bottom. Flying by the black morass, I watched my shoe pass, crushing down upon the vile mat. It would be the air. Up and up, I go into the air. I breathe. In goes the air, out goes the air. I breathe harder and harder as I rise into the air, feeling the swiftness of my wings. I rise to the cuffs. I look up to see an oversized me floating the emptiness of this hall. As I rose, I wondered, can I communicate with myself? Can this minuscule me get the attention of the massive beast that occupies most of my visual space? Can I get the attention of this monstrous me that could crush me without a thought? A step in the right direction could bring an end to me. If I die, does he die? Might the massive me lead to the destruction of the minuscule me? If the minuscule me is crushed, would the mass of me also be crushed? Is my mind one mind or two minds? Can I think this minuscule me and also the monstrous me? This does not make sense to me. How can I be two places, two peoples, at once? If I am the insect flying, how am I also the man standing? Which mind is thinking these thoughts? It feels as though it is the insect me. But just a few minutes ago, it was the man me. I never imagined this insect me could exist. All of my memories are of the man me. I have no memories beyond the few seconds of this flying insect me. If that is the case, then I must be the man me thinking the thoughts of the insect. But if that is the case, then how can I be looking at the man me? If I am both the man and the insect, then could I be neither? If one becomes two, from where does the second one come? Was it nothing? Was it in my mind? Can my mind form a new entity? If my mind formed this entity, and it did not exist before, then this mind that is thinking did not exist before. If my human mind made up this new mind, then when my human mind stops thinking, will I cease to exist? 